Hi everyone. Welcome back to Monday Yoga. We'll give everybody a few moments to get on, a few minutes to get on. All right, while we give people a few moments, a few minutes to get onto our channel for yoga today, happy Memorial Day. So we have yoga trivia again today while we have a few moments. Uh, today it'll be about Memorial Day. So Memorial Day was also known as blank. Hi, Lurie. Welcome. Hi, Susan. Welcome to class. Glad to see you guys on Memorial Day. All right, so the trivia question is, Memorial Day was also known as what day? It's meant to honor the Union and Confederate soldiers who died during the American Civil War. By the 1900s, it had become a day to celebrate all American soldiers who died while serving in the military. It wasn't till 1967 that it was legally named Memorial Day. So the trivia question of the day is, what was this day also called besides Memorial Day? It was also known as blank. So at the end of class, we'll have the answer. If you guys have the answer, you're always welcome to write it down and post it. That way I can see who got the answer. Hi, Deborah. Nice to see you today. Welcome everybody at Memorial Day. So trivia question is, what else was Memorial Day called before we legalized the name Memorial Day and made it a legal holiday for all American soldiers who died during any war? All right, we got a few more moments while we think about that. Okay, so we'll give everybody a few more minutes. I'm glad to see everybody's here, even on Memorial Day. So happy Memorial Day and good afternoon. Today we'll be working on the heart chakra. So we could start by getting ready here, getting ready in our seat, wherever we're going to sit, whether it be in a stable chair, maybe it's our couch, as long as we're able to move around, maybe even the edge of the bed, as long as you're safe and comfortable. So just make sure that we're safe, we're comfortable. And remember, we do have props, so you're welcome to bring belts, ties, towels, anything that we can use, a block, a ball, Give another moment as we get comfortable. So let's find our seat here. We're getting nice and comfortable. Let's not move too far back into our chair because we don't want our body to relax and be supported by the chair. We want to use our postural muscles to support us. So we want to start engaging. Just remember that we're sitting tall. We're away from the back of the chair. We're finding our hip width distance apart. So from hips all the way to the knees and then knees all the way down to the ankles are lined up here and our toes point forward. And let's just start by taking a few deep breaths. So here as we start to think of all the muscles tucking inward, think of everything being wrapped here in the torso and it's tucking inward towards the midline and moving towards the back, the spine. And the spine we're lifting upward all the way through the crown of the head. The shoulders are rolling back. We're finding stability both in the feet and in our glutes. We're finding those sit bones nice and grounded into our chair. Finding the breath today, let's go ahead and bring the hands, both palms over the heart chakra. So heart chakra, heart is on the side. You just simply move to center of the heart here, aligning with the midline. And we're just gonna take nice deep breaths, shutting the eyes and breathing in and out of the nose. Bringing energy and breath to the heart. Feel the expansion of the breath as we open up through the lungs, the heart, the chest, the shoulders, 
And as we exhale, we're sinking back down into the heart. And just bringing awareness to the heart chakra as we close the eyes, breathing in and out of the nose. And as we breathe in and out of the nose, let's bring the tongue to the roof of the mouth making a full body connection. That's just an energetic connection as the energy rotates through the body here, through the chakras with the breath. And let's exhale. We're gonna to start to release the hands down into the lap. Let's go ahead and face palms up and bring the tips of the thumbs together. We are gonna come into our bija sound. For the heart chakra, this is yam. So let's inhale to yam. Yam. Even allow the humming at the end of that yam. Let's go ahead and inhale again to yam. Yum. Start to feel that vibration. So hopefully you start to feel this vibration both in the heart and as we hum, it goes into the mind here. One more time, inhale to yum. Yum. And let's just take nice deep breaths. Hopefully the body, that vibration has started to relax the body. The shoulder started to roll back and down. Let's bring our arms to the side and just exhale, release the chin down into the chest. Let's inhale, draw the shoulders up to the ears, bring the gaze up. So we're squeezing the shoulders tightly up, we're looking up. And let's exhale and release chin back down into chest. Relax those shoulders, we're rolling those shoulders back down and stretching through the arms, through the fingers. Inhale, let's draw the shoulders up to the ears, really squeezing, looking up. And exhale, we're going to release that. Remember, we're drawing through the shoulders, through the fingertips, and into the chin, into the chest. Let's go ahead and lift the arms with this one. We're gonna lift up, and you have the choice of bringing the gaze up if you'd like. And we're gonna exhale, slowly release those arms down, bring the chin back into chest. Inhale, let's lengthen up. Taking nice deep breaths so you feel the expansion in the chest, through the arms, through the torso. Exhale as if we're taking that energy and just pressing down and around us. Inhale, let's lengthen back up. Exhale, this time palms face us. We're just drawing that energy all the way down through all of our chakras, just allowing that energy as we exhale to softly move all the way around us, getting energized. Let's inhale, lengthen up. And exhale again, taking our time, finding that breath as we slowly move down. Last one, let's inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and release that. Now the shoulders are relaxed. Let's tilt the head to one side. Let's inhale and just lengthen through center. Exhale, we're tilting to the opposite side. Inhale, let's lengthen up center. And exhale. So we're gazing forward, and we're just inhale as we lift through the neck, the shoulders roll back and down, and we exhale as we allow ear moving towards the shoulder. Let's inhale, lengthen up again. Exhale, release to that first shoulder we started on, 
Now let's start to release now, chin rotating down towards the chest. And then we're gonna press that chin across the chest and try to roll all the way over to our opposite side where we start to bring the gaze forward again. We take a nice deep expansion, inhale, and we're gonna exhale and release forward down. Inhale, as we draw our gaze forward and let that ear move towards the relaxed shoulder. And let's exhale, forward down. And inhale, as we move to that opposite shoulder, we bring that gaze forward, shoulders relaxed. Let's exhale, chin into chest. Slowly rotating down center. Inhale, let's bring the arms all the way up, and this time gaze forward. Exhale, we're gonna release the arms, hinge forward from the hips, keep the back flat, and let's flip the arms back, start to extend into our airplane pose as we lengthen. So palms face down, outstretch the fingers, reaching towards the back wall and up towards the ceiling. Let's go ahead and release our airplane arms. Inhale, reaching up and over. Exhale, release one arm. Inhale, let's lengthen through that arm that's reaching up and lengthen through the arm that's reaching down. And let's start to release over to one side. We're gonna take another breath here. And let's go ahead and come back to center. We're gonna release that arm. Inhale, the next arm up. Remember, as we inhale one arm up, the inhale also reaches the opposite arm down. And then we're gonna release over to that side. Take in another breath. And let's come back to center, bringing both arms up. Inhale. And let's exhale, bring palms together, heart center. As we come to heart center, let's interlace the fingers, outstretch the arms forward, palms reaching. Let's draw the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, roll the shoulders back and down. Really feel firmly planted in your shoulders here as we lengthen through the arms, rounded feet. Let's inhale, lengthen up overhead. Exhale, come back to lengthen, arms straight in front of us. Inhale, feel the expansion, the tightness in the abs as we draw into center. Exhale, back, forward facing, relaxing shoulders. Inhale, stretching up, abs tucked in, everything moving towards that navel, towards the spine. Exhale, again, coming to shoulder length. Last one, let's inhale overhead. And exhale, release the arms. Let's go ahead and grab a hold of a belt or towel. So a belt or towel will work. We're gonna inhale, bring the arms up. Let's keep one arm lengthened up. The other arm's gonna start sliding down that belt until it comes about parallel with the shoulder. And then you're going to keep the feet grounded, the hips grounded, the glutes, but you're gonna look over to the arm that's lengthened towards the armpit. And let's exhale. Hopefully you had a few breaths there coming back. We're just gonna switch those arms. So the opposite arm now lengthens out to the side while the other arm lengthens up. It's still drawn back. And then we're going to look over the direction with the arm that's lengthening straight up towards the sky. And let's go ahead and exhale. Let's bring it to center here, hanging onto the belt, hopefully extending through the arms all the way, even through the wrists and fingers. And try to bring that belt back behind us without bending the elbows. So let's keep lengthened elbows, even if we need to open up that stance to draw the belt all the way back behind us. If you find that it's too easy, you just simply tighten up on the belt. As we inhale, let's lengthen back overhead. And as we exhale, let's just bring it all the way over forward to our lap. Once again, let's find the length that suits you that is slightly uncomfortable, but not painful. So let's inhale, lengthen up. 
and exhale we're letting it come all the way back and down with lengthened arms if you feel the need to bend an elbow it just simply means you need to lengthen your stance on the rope or towel inhale and exhale remember we have those abs tucking in glutes and feet grounded so that we're rooted inhale lengthening up and exhale lengthening back inhale let's keep it up here lengthen all the way through the arms let's exhale hinging to one side for our lateral flexion inhale tilting lengthening back up through center and exhale tilting to the opposite side inhale strong core muscles lengthen back exhale using the breath here with the body inhale bringing that in tune here our breath with our movement inhale exhale <clears throat> inhale and exhale inhale let's exhale and release those arms Whew. might be a little bit on the shoulders here so let's move through the shoulders let's bring our hands delicately to the shoulders extend through the elbows and let's go ahead and simultaneously roll them at the same time we're rolling them back we're rolling them forward up as high as we can and we're rolling back and down, stretching through the heart, the chest as we roll back and down. Inhale, we stretch through the shoulder blades. And just find the breath here. And we're gonna roll the opposite direction. So we're rolling back. We're gonna start rolling forward now. So let's inhale, squeeze shoulder blades back down, lift up, and exhale forward down. Inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale. And let's exhale, point the elbows forward, extend through the arms, palms face up. Relax the shoulders. And let's inhale, just bring palms facing behind us. And exhale again, back out to that giving stance as if we're giving or receiving. Then lifting back up. And relax, shoulder width distance apart, palms up, inhale. Let's exhale while arms are lengthened and twist so the palms are forward. Let's start to heel toe the legs slightly open start to hinge at the elbows so we have our goddess pose to start off with so find here goddess pose palms forward arm to shoulder length elbows and then find the knees they point the same direction as your toes knees are right above your ankles and then we're lengthening through the torso abs are tucked in let's roll the shoulders back and try to relax those shoulders Focus back on the breath as we press through the soles of the feet, finding dynamic tension throughout the body as we hold this posture. And let's go ahead and start to reach back up. Let's grab one hand to one wrist and start to pull towards the opposite direction. We're still breathing, so one more breath here. And let's gently bring it back up. And we're gonna slowly move to the other side. We're slowly moving to that other side. We're reaching. And let's inhale, reach it all the way up, and exhale, release the hands. Whew, so a lot of shoulders here. Let's roll the shoulders back. Still find comfortable in the glutes, the seat, and our feet. So checking in again, we're going to hinge 
to one side, we're moving into our side angle pose. So let's keep that length here, press through the shoulder and not relax into it. Let's keep the length through the torso. And this time let's take the hand and draw it back behind us towards the low back, towards the same hip. So my fingertips are coming towards this hip. And I'm letting the shoulders relax. I'm lengthening through the torso. And my head is an option here. I could look up if it feels good. Or maybe we can look just straight forward. Or you could look down if that helps stabilize you. Wherever it's most comfortable for your neck. And just refocusing on the breath here. And let's go ahead and release that. We're gonna come all the way back up. We're just switching to the opposite side. So palm up and start to release that other hand back behind us, reaching for that opposite hip, keeping the shoulders open, relaxing as well as tensing and lengthening through the torso. So we're still working here, lengthening all the way through the neck, through the torso, back is aligned, abs are tucked in, and we're finding that breath in and out of the nose. Nice deep breaths. And let's go ahead and start to come all the way back up again. So as we come back up, let's reach up all the way overhead. And this time as we reach, let's soften one elbow and just really reach up high with the opposite arm. And then soften that arm and reach up high with the other arm and hand and just go back and forth. Just really reaching like we're trying to get into that top cupboard. We're reaching as high as we can so we can stretch and lengthen. Find the breath. Allow it to be a breath that lengthens us. Especially those inhales really help stretch us out. Exhales help us contract or relax. Let's inhale. And let's exhale, palms together, heart center for a moment. As we come to this point, let's inhale. Bring the palms open, start to open the arms. Start to open back as far as we can. Now we can option here. So remember, abs, core is tight and tucked in. Rounded feet, we're pressing through the soles of the feet. We're opening through the heart, the chest, our shoulders, even the armpits. And it's your choice to keep the gaze forward or we can lengthen that gaze up depending on how you feel. Taking another deep breath here of expansion. And let's exhale and give ourselves a big hug. So as we give ourselves a big hug, we're just wrapping to the shoulders, but then we're squeezing tight. So really squeeze, you might feel some cracks or even hear crackling. And then we're going to release. So remember which arm was on top. Let's inhale and expand again and open up through the heart, through the lungs, through the chest here. And let's exhale. The opposite arm on top. Grab a hold of your shoulders and just give yourself a tight squeeze. Really contract all the muscles here. As we squeeze tight, we might even lift those shoulders up high. And let's go ahead and inhale. Open it back up. Exhale, giving ourselves a squeeze. Squeeze tight. Inhale, let's open back up. And exhale, last time, giving ourselves a squeeze. And let's inhale, release that. As we bring our hands back to our knees, take a nice deep breath, lengthening through the torso. Let's keep the back lengthened and exhale, just move to one side. So heart center to the knee. Then let's inhale and just lengthen. Keep the back lengthened the whole time. Let's exhale, center. So now we hinge forward, down. Our back is still flat. You can use hands here to help out. Inhale, lengthening up. And exhale, heart center to the opposite knee. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, forward. Hinging at the hips. Inhale. Exhale to the side, heart center to the knee. Inhale, exhale, center. Inhale, and exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale to center. And allow yourself to go as forward as much as you can that is not painful. Could be discom or a little bit uncomfortable. Exhale. If you want to feel a little bit of uncomfortableness that we're working and back through center, but not overwhelming, no sharp pains. So keep in touch with the body. Exhale, heart center to that knee. Inhale, lengthen back up. Let's inhale, lengthen all the way up and over, stretching over. We're gonna to come to our sunflower pose. So remember that's just a big circle, exhaling with the hands, feet grounded, legs are still open here. We're gonna inhale, lengthening up. I'm gonna give you another option for our sunflower. That is to hinge forward at the hips, keep the back flat, and still making that big circle, just coming closer to the ground. Then let's inhale, lengthen all the way up and over. And let's exhale, sunflower. You choose the option, whether you're lengthened and sitting up or you're hinging forward, it's up to you. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, let's lengthen back up. And this time, keep length here. We're gonna exhale into our moon flower. Elbows come all the way down to the ribcage. So you feel those shoulders roll back, down. Abs are tucked in, palms are still facing forward and we're still extending out to the side. Let's inhale, lengthen up. And exhale, sun, <laughs> moon flower. <laughs> inhale, lengthening up. Exhale, back into moon flower. And inhale, lengthen up. And let's exhale, relax the arms all the way down to the side. <sighs> Relaxing the shoulders. Let's bring our hands bottom of the chair, maybe towards the back, just so we can roll those shoulders back. We're still, make sure that you're stable in the chair, that you're nice and comfortable, you feel secure enough to lift the legs. So let's grab a hold of the back bottom of the chair and start to lift both legs, extending right out. Let's point those toes, contract the legs as much as we can so we feel all the muscles all the way through those toes. Then let's bring it down. Take a nice deep breath, roll those shoulders back. Let the heart feel as if it's coming up towards the ceiling, the shoulders roll back, the abs are tucking in towards the back. We're gonna inhale again, point those toes, extend through the legs. Lengthen through the torso as we do this. And let's exhale, bring it back down. As we bring it back down, let's find knee ankle alignment and just lift the heels. So right now my heels are lifting and I'm going to press back down. Inhale, let's lift the heels all the way either to the balls of the feet or maybe we even try to go to those toes. Let's bring it all the way back down, pressing down. So this time let's inhale, just lift our toes. So our toes are lifting up. It's going off, so sorry here. Okay, so we're still lifting those toes here. And let's press the soles of the feet down, lift the heels. Let's take a moment while I get my music back on. Keep lifting those heels. We're tightening those legs. Remember, we're lengthening through the torso here. And let's go ahead, exhale, give those heels a release, press back down. You can probably feel this in the inner thighs as well. Let's lift toes and the feet. So our heels are grounded at this point, but our feet are lifting up. So the toes are, the balls of the feet are lifting up as high as we can. And then let's bring them back down. All right, from here, let's heel, toe all the way back. We're gonna get out of our chair for just a little bit. So let's come all the way up. Draw the hands up and over, inhale. And then let's exhale. We're gonna bring it all the way back to the chair. So as we hinge at the hips, let's check that the chair is right there. Keep a flat back and release all the way back down. Let's move all the way back into the chair where we do feel the back now. Our hip width distance apart, alignment, knee, ankles, toes point forward. You can press into the knees. Let's exhale, hinge forward. Let's inhale, press into the soles of the feet and into the knees and draw up with a flat back all the way up and over. And let's exhale, 
As we come back down, take it nice and slow, nice and controlled, reach back. You feel that chair, take it as slow as we can this time. We're really using all our leg muscles to come all the way back down, that was so slow. So let's inhale, take a nice deep breath, lengthen through the spine, exhale, hinge forward, let the heart lead. Inhale, press into the hands, to the soles of the feet, coming slowly all the way back up. Let's reach it up and over and exhale again arms come out to the side and start to reach back behind us we're going to go as slow as we can sitting back down in our chair so we have our form we have our posture we can see our toes i'm sitting as slow as i can i'm not quite to the chair my back is flat i feel the chair with my fingertips and slowly bring it all the way back down oh let's inhale lift the legs and the arms so now my toes are reaching up towards the sky lifting all the way through keep my toes up extended legs let's exhale into our staff pose by bringing the arms all the way down to the side roll the shoulders back reaching through the fingers Nice deep breaths. Let's focus on the breath as we have full body tension, lengthening through the torso, abs tucked in, lengthening through the legs, through the toes. And let's exhale and release that. All right. We're gonna move to the side of our chair. So as we move to the side of our chair, make sure that one leg, one hip, one glute is fully on that chair still, knees bent, toe points forward here, knee ankle alignment, the other hand, the other leg can come straight down where we can move here. So this leg, this glute is off the chair. I can move it back all the way. I can move it forward. I can move it to the side. So here we have the knee and hip alignment. You can keep it here. You can keep the toes tucked under. Our hips are forward facing for this one. We're gonna come up to our warrior one as we lift up through the arm. The other arm hangs on back of the chair. Now if you can handle this, let's bring up both arms. If not, you're always welcome to keep that other arm on the chair. And we're just reaching up and let's exhale and release. Now we're gonna keep this arm on back of the chair. Let's inhale, bring it up. And this time, exhale, stretch over to that side. So now we feel a nice stretch all the way through our side body here as we stretch over to the side. Let's go ahead and bring it back up. So if you want a little bit more in the hips and leg, you can start to send that leg all the way back so that we don't have that knee coming forward. So the other option here is to send the leg back and come into a warrior type stance with this leg, which means the sole of the foot comes to the ground and the toes point off at an angle. So here we're in warrior one, our hips are forward facing. For warrior two, we're opening up to the side. So even if your knee is bent, you can still open up to your side where you face forward again. We still have this alignment. So it's up to you, we have that alignment. Now let's bring one arm back reaching back behind us and the other arm reaching forward in front of us palms face down and we're going to look over the fingertips that are reaching forward nice deep breaths here let's exhale we're going to release that hand back behind us because we want to come into our reverse wear so not a lot of weight on the hand behind us palm now faces up i've rotated the palm up and i'm reaching all the way up and I'm still open to the side here, so I'm still facing mostly the camera here or to the side, like warrior two, as I reach up into reverse warrior. And let's exhale, we're gonna release that. Let's go ahead and release the leg, whether we had it extended or we had it by our side, we're gonna release. We're coming forward because we're gonna move to the opposite side. So we're just rotating on the chair here. And as we rotate, remember we're using the back of the chair for the arm for support. And we're sitting halfway on the chair. So you feel that glute bone that is sitting down, your knee forward, the toes are forward, knee ankle alignment. This other leg right here is able to move. It's mobile. You can move it up, you can move it down, you can move it back. 
Hanging onto that chair, finding wherever it feels good to you. Our hips are forward facing. Let's inhale, bring the arm up, reaching up. Nice deep breaths as you gaze forward for our warrior one. The second option is if you want to, you can release the chair and bring both arms up. Make sure that you're stable and that you feel safe and stable when doing this. And let's go ahead and release one arm down, bring the other arm down. We're back to the back of the chair. Let's go ahead and inhale, bring that other arm up again. And this time let's exhale and stretch over to that side. Nice deep breaths here, breathing in and out of the nose. And let's go ahead and release that. Now once again, option to take this alignment that we already have and send it further back, coming into more of a warrior stance by bringing the sole of the foot down onto the ground and the toes point off in a diagonal fashion. Or we can keep the knee bent, but we're still opening the hips to the side. So let's rotate and try to open up to the side as our legs still stay in alignment. So we want to keep that alignment and groundedness in the legs. Let's bring up the first arm forward, reaching forward and the other arm reaching back. We're facing towards our audience or towards our TV or camera, whatever it is. And then we're going to take that gaze and just bring it right over the front fingertips. Stabilizing in the feet, lengthening through the torso and finding the breath in and out of the nose. Using focus here. And now from warrior two, we're gonna come into reverse warrior. So we release that one arm back behind us, palm faces up to the one in front of us and let's lift up and reach up towards the ceiling. Option to bring the gaze forward or down or you can bring the gaze up. If we have any dizzy spells, you may not want to look up as you might lose the balance. So in that case, you might want to look down towards the ground. You're still getting that focus and that stretch here as we focus on the breath. And let's exhale. We're going to slowly release that. Allow that other leg to come back. We're gonna move back to center. Let's move all the way back into the chair here. We're gonna come up out of the chair. So take a nice deep breath again. Let's exhale, hinge forward, keep a flat back. Inhale, press through the soles of the feet, especially those heels. Start to hinge all the way up as we come lengthening up. We're gonna use the chair today. So let's find the chair here. We're where we're hip width distance apart. We're standing right behind our chair and we're going to come into some high lunges. So let's just bring one leg. You can lift the heel. So stabilizing on one leg, we're lifting the heel, draw all the way back, bend this knee as we draw all the way back. My heel and behind me is still lifted and still up. I'm on the ball of the foot, all toes point forward. This knee, I can still see the toes. I don't want to surpass my toes because then I'm going to injure my knee. So let's keep that knee aligned with the ankle. Lengthen through the torso and we're going to exhale and release the heel back and down behind us. Let's inhale and lift it back up. And exhale, release back down. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, release down. Keep it there for another breath. On your next inhale, let's lift that heel back up. Find stability and see if we can't start coming into more of a lengthen here in the torso. And maybe the arms come forward and up, back to palms face forward, stretching through the chest and shoulders here. And as we find that balance, let's bring it all the way back to the chair. As we bring it back to the chair, step that leg forward. Let's take a moment here where we have hands on back of the chair. And we're gonna slowly walk it back, walk it back. I'll push my chair more forward so you can see. Walk it back because I'm gonna keep my hip alignment with 
my feet, my toes point forward, hanging onto the chair, my knees are soft to support me, my hips are pulling back, so that tailbone pulls back and you're gonna release the head for downward facing dog here. We're releasing the head between the arms. Let's take a few deep breaths, nice flat back. Soft knees, finding your breath. One more breath here. And let's exhale. We're gonna slowly walk it back forward. So let's walk gently all the way back up, back to hip width distance apart. And let's go ahead and inhale, lengthen up. And exhale, just taking a moment to let those arms float all the way back down. Bring the hands back to the chair. Now we're gonna to move to the opposite leg so that one leg stays stable. Let's pick up the opposite leg and start to set it back. Keep the toes all pointed forward. So now I'm on the ball of the foot. My heel is lifted up off the ground. My front knee is bent, but it aligns with my ankle. My toes point forward, I can see my toes. I'm gonna exhale and release that heel all the way down to the ground, or as close as I can get to the ground. Let's roll the shoulders back, keep alignment here, keep body posture tucking inward and lifting up. Let's go ahead and inhale, lift the heel. And exhale, we're pressing back down. Inhale, lifting the heel. And exhale, pressing down. Inhale, let's lift that heel. Nice deep breath, feel that alignment. Let's exhale, press the heel back down into the floor. Let's take a nice deep breath and let that heel relax, pressing down into the floor. On the next breath, let's go ahead and inhale, lengthen it back up off the floor and start to bring the arms back in if we can. So arms are an option to open up through the chest, palms point forward. So we're coming into our high lunge or crescent pose here. Nice deep breaths, finding that balance. It's okay if we keep the arms here, or just maybe barely touching, but we're lengthening through the torso. So we're aligning the hips and lengthening all the way up. And let's go ahead and step forward. Now we're gonna slightly walk back again, coming back into that downward facing dog. So downward facing dog for us, we're gonna just walk it back, keep those knees soft. Remember, we're pressing with that tailbone back as far as we can. And then we're releasing the head between the arms. And here the hands are just resting on the chair. Knees are soft, abs are tucked in. And maybe we turn or move the head just a little. Maybe we release it, say yes. Or maybe we look to one side and look to the other side for no. Coming back to center, our abs are still tucked in. Let's start to walk it a little bit forward. So as we start to walk forward, we do want to have some bit of distance away from that chair. We are gonna keep the knees soft. Make sure your chair is stable here. It doesn't want to fly out from underneath you because we're gonna do a little bit of arm work. So try to align shoulders here. You're hanging comfortably onto the chair, it's stable. We're gonna just hinge at the elbows, try and keep a flat back. So even if my knees are soft, my hips are back, we still have a nice flat back. I have alignment from my tailbone to my crown. I'm rolling the shoulders back and I'm just slowly letting the heart center come towards the chair and then I'm gonna press back up. I'm taking my time and even start to rotate maybe those elbows in towards the rib cage for crocodile push-ups so that when we come forward we have heart center towards the chair we slowly press back up my back is flat even though my hips and knees might be hinged my back is flat drawing forward let's press back away and let's walk towards the chair again and inhale lengthen all the way up and over and let's exhale, palms together, heart center. Let's come back to our chair. So here we're coming back to the chair. 
we get to sit on it once again. And I'm gonna use my ball, but you're welcome to use a block or a ball, whichever is good for you. And we're gonna engage our inner thighs here. So I'm sitting towards the front part of the chair, but not enough to tip it. I feel very secure. Make sure that you are secure. Bring the ball or block about an inch or two above the knees and we're gonna squeeze those inner thighs. Let's grab a hold of the knees and as we squeeze those inner thighs, take a nice deep inhale. We're moving into cat, so let's exhale. Squeeze the abs in, chin into chest, round through the back. Remember, we're rounding all the way through the back, even the hips, so we feel that rounding. And remember, the last time we felt our glute bones with our fingers, when we round like this, you don't feel them because they're rounding. Let's go ahead and inhale, roll those shoulders back. And for the first option, we're just gonna roll those shoulders back Bring the shoulders back down, open and expand through the heart, and you have the option of gazing upward for our cow. Keep the elbows close to our ribcage. Let's exhale back into cat. Moving down to the knees, tucking the abs in, chin into chest. Our inner thighs are still tight, hanging onto that ball or block. And our second option here for cow pose is hanging onto the knees, coming forward, flattening the back, pressing the heart forward, pressing the gaze forward and just taking a nice deep inhale. And let's exhale, moving back into our cat. Inhale, moving into cow. Nice deep inhale, expanding cow. Exhaling, contracting cat. Contract the abs into the spine. Exhale completely. And inhale, cow. Remember you have that option of sitting up and let's exhale into cat. And let's inhale, lengthen all the way through the torso this time. Roll the shoulders back down. Again, nice deep breaths. We're gonna hang on to the back bottom of the chair again. Lengthen through the torso, expand through the heart, abs tucked in, and we're gonna lengthen through those feet as we keep those tight inner thigh muscles, toes up towards the ceiling, and let's bring those feet back down. So I know we're getting tight here. We're contracting in those inner thighs. Let's inhale, lift the feet again, and exhale, slowly release the feet back into the ground. Inhale, lifting both feet, dorsiflex, toes towards the ceiling. And let's exhale, release. Now let's lift just one foot and this time point the toe. And exhale. Inhale, opposite leg, point the toe. Exhale, release. Inhale, point the toe. Exhale, release. Inhale, point the toe. Exhale, release. Let's go ahead and sit nice and tall. Hopefully your inner thighs are starting to wear out a little bit. Press the soles of the feet into the ground. We're still contracting those inner thighs. Lengthen through the torso, hands on the lateral side of the leg. And we're just helping twist here. Option to look forward to the side or all the way back behind us. Sitting nice and tall, stacked vertebrae. Ah, let's go ahead and gently release. Moving to the opposite side. Let your torso lengthen. Still breathing. And let's release forward. Inhale, lengthen up. And again, drawing that energy like we did in the beginning of the class all the way back through the body. And as we do, let's go ahead and release that block or ball. Let it go to the side. And we could readjust in the chair. Maybe we're a little bit further back now that the block is gone or the ball. We still aren't all the way back. We want to keep those postural muscles engaged, drawing inward towards the midline and lifting up here. We're going to extend through our legs. And this time it's going to be more shoulder width distance apart for these legs. And we're going to rotate the feet. So let's start by rotating the feet here. Nice deep breaths. You can take a moment to start closing the eyes for a moment and get in touch with the breath as the body moves. 
And let's rotate the feet opposite direction now. So whatever direction you were moving, we're simply rotating opposite direction. And let's go ahead and release that. As we release, let's bring our belt. We wanna stretch a little bit more into the legs again. So let's bring the belt around the ball of the foot. Sit nice and tall, extend through that leg. Maybe bend those elbows and see how high we can get that leg. And then just release to straight out. We're gonna take opposite hand today to that leg and either wrap the hand with the belt or just hang on to the towel or whatever it is. And then start to lift up again on the leg and then start to cross over as if we're trying to cross the legs but we're keeping extension through that leg. And we're keeping our glutes nice and grounded so that it's the hips that are still facing forward. They did not move with the leg. We're not rotating through the hips. We're rotating through that leg joint. And let's go ahead and exhale. We're going to release that. We're gonna to move to the opposite side. So let's go ahead and come to the other side. Remember the leg stabilizes now that you just used and we have the ball of the foot and at first we're just going to lift it up ball of foot toes point up towards the ceiling and let's lift see how high we can lift it take a nice deep breath and maybe release it for a moment to let the shoulders relax lengthening out let's go ahead and give the belt again to the opposite hand to the leg that you have the rope around and you can relax the other hand let's gently lift up a little bit and why our glutes are stable, try and draw that leg over to the opposite side. Still sitting nice and tall using our core muscles. That other foot is nice and grounded into the floor as we lengthen. Finding the breath here. And let's go ahead and exhale, release that. our belt to the side okay so let's get a little bit more relaxed here as we start to move into our Shavasana so let's just take a moment before Shavasana find a comfortable seat and just allow the head movement again whatever feels good so just remember that we don't roll the head back unless we draw the shoulders up so if you want to make complete head circles, you're gonna to have to draw the shoulders up as you move the head back. Release the shoulders down as you move the head forward. So anytime we move back, squeeze the shoulders back. If you're making those full head circles, and release the shoulders back down. Let's move the opposite direction. So head circles the other way. Remember to lift the shoulders as you tilt the head back and relax the shoulders as you move forward down. We're gonna do this one more time. Squeeze those shoulders as the head rolls back to protect the neck. And exhale, allow the shoulders to relax as we move forward down. From there, let's go ahead and just take our hands to our shoulders and as if we're swimming backwards. So we're moving through that waist here. Our hips are nice and firm, glute bones firm. So our legs are in the same position, but we feel the waist muscles, the shoulders, the back, as we swim backwards with elbows. Now we're gonna swim forward with elbows. So as if we're swimming again, our fingers are on our shoulders, and let's release that. We have one more thing before we get completely ready for Shavasana. We're gonna come forward into our forward fold. So let me scoot back a little bit. Take a nice deep breath. Remember, we're just gonna exhale, hands are on the legs. You can keep the flat back. You can just exhale and just relax the arms here. You can keep hands on the knees. Or you can exhale and release all the way down. Just remember to check in with your body that this is okay with your back. That there is no pain when you draw yourself forward and down. And you just take a few deep breaths here. And let's just gently start to bring our hands back to our knees and lengthen back up. 
All right, we're ready for Shavasana. Let's find a comfortable seat. Let's make sure that we're nice and comfortable for Shavasana. Whether that we decided to lie down on a couch, the floor, and maybe we have legs up the wall. Those of you who don't know what legs up the wall is, it's where you come very close to the wall, you sit next to the side, you release down, and then you twist yourself with your hands pressing against the wall to get your glutes and legs going straight up that wall. That brings all the circulation back down into the heart, back down into the body, it relaxes you, it also helps with varicose veins, tired feet, fatigued legs. So you're always welcome to do legs up the wall for this. Let's go ahead and find that quiet space. We're starting to shut the eyes. We're relaxing the body here. Let's come back to focus on the breath. And we're bringing that focus again to our heart chakra. So this is just center. So your heart's on the left, you just move to the center where the chakras are, heart center here. You can bring the hands over the chest. And just letting our breath come into the heart and out of the heart, like giving and receiving. The inhale, receiving, the exhale is giving. And just allow yourself to feel this abundance flow. And as we breathe through the heart, we say to ourselves, I have the right to love and to receive love. Breathing in, I have the right to love. And exhaling, receiving love. I have the right to be appreciated. And I have the right to appreciate. I have the right to forgive or let go. the right to let go. I have the right to grieve. And just letting that come in for a moment. I have the right to grieve. I have the right to be alive. Breathing in, I have the right to be alive. see this present moment as a gift. I have a right to be healed. And I have a right to heal.
my true essence is love. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Just taking a few moments, breathing this in and exhaling it out. to the awareness of our breath, breathing in, breathing out. Feeling the center of the heart. This is also our mid dantian. Feeling that abundance flows, we allow the give and the receive here even allowing the breath to give and to receive. Inhaling, we feel that gift of receiving into our heart. And exhaling, we feel the gift of giving from our heart. And just allowing this abundance flow for a moment. Allowing a smile to come back to the face as we start to reawaken the body. We start to bring movement back to our fingers, back to our toes, back to our body. Let's take a moment to bring that movement out, becoming aware of our surroundings again, becoming aware of everything around us as we have been inwardly focused. And when you're ready, namaste. Thank you for joining me today. And remember, we have that yoga trivia. So let me say hi to Sharon. Thank you for joining us, Sharon, today. And Jane, thank you for joining. And Bonnie, thank you. And of course, Susan and Larie. Thank you for joining me today. So our yoga trivia was Memorial Day was also known as what day? Meant to honor the Union and Confederate soldiers who died during the American Civil War. This day was called Decoration Day. By the 1900s, it had become a day to celebrate all American soldiers who died while serving in the military. It wasn't till 1967 that it was legally named Memorial Day. So happy Memorial Day, happy Decoration Day, and thank you for joining me. And I appreciate all the soldiers in America. Thank you for serving our country. Thank you. Namaste and have a wonderful day today.